Can you walk me through the breadth and the participation of this rally, this record high compared to the record high we printed, say, several months ago? How much healthier this one is? Thank you so much for having us. Uh, yeah, I think this is all about the transition uh, to better breath, uh, better performance on a fundamental basis and really a fundamentally led stock pickers market. I think where most people have it wrong uh, for 2021 is this uh, a- automatic transition uh, back to normalcy. I just don't think it's going to be that easy if 2020 taught us anything. We're still going to have uh, fits and starts, momentum, rhetoric-driven market. Look at the month of November alone in terms of this binary decision to buy cyclicals and, and value stocks again. This was clearly just exp- uh, trying to add underexposure to those areas uh, that have been underperforming. With respect to your question with, uh, in terms of leadership, you know, clearly the stay-at-home stocks and specifically the communication services and technology sector at being 40 percent of the market clearly skewed the performance early on. But I think we as investors and we as society have learned now how to deal from the chaos of COVID-19 coronavirus and what it did to our professional and personal lives into now coexisting with the virus and now having the hope and the faith of having vaccines uh, be omnipresent. But I think the reality of it, Jonathan, is that is that the first half of the year, 2021, is still going to be kind of this back and forth momentum driven trading. Remember, we probably have increased lockdowns coming uh, across the country in the United States uh, as Mr. Biden yeah. takes over. I think that's going to be a big deal. And I think part of that is the growth trade is going to be back on again. And I think uh, the death of tech has been way, way, way too over exaggerated. You're staying with big tech, Brian, for that reason. Well, we're, we're neutral, so we're market way, which is a big call for us, quite frankly. As you know, our work for several years, we're secular bulls on, on tech and communication services. We're not saying sell tech. We're saying maintain your positions. Think about this. Again, it's 40 percent of the market if you, if you take communication services and technology. I'm just saying don't sell. Add on weakness and, and uh, trim a little bit when the market rallies. And I think we have another big move in the stay-at-home stocks. And it's rather contrarian because everyone's now decided that's a value market. But just be careful on that. Think about this. You've used several industrial stocks are at or near all-time highs already. And where financials, really, where we think you get the best fundamental value, most of them are still hovering near all-time lows. I think that's really going to be the big trade that people are underexposed in.